A lot of things in life we can measure. We can measure how tall you are. We can measure what you weigh. We can measure your closing percentage and sale. But how do you measure mental and emotional toughness? Pain tolerance is one of the biggest factors of someone who can handle pressure. Because the whole idea of pressure is there's pain. That pain could be embarrassment. That pain could be, I don't know if I can handle this. That pain could be a lot of different things. You know, uh, uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, the difference between a hero and an average person is that the hero goes five minutes longer. Meaning the hero can handle the pain five minutes longer than the other person. Chadwick Boseman just died. Okay, here's a man that did Jackie Robinson. Uh, he did Black Panther. The guy's a great speaker. Guy had colon cancer, none of us knew about it. Let me get this straight. He's had colon cancer for four years and the world doesn't know about it? Aren't we living in a time where you're supposed to expose all your problems at any given moment? Aren't all these Huffington Post experts telling people, publicize your pain and share it with the world? Well, Chadwick Boseman says, no, it's none of your business. It's my problem. It's my pain. Never use it as an excuse to not make those movies. I watched both of them. You never made that as an excuse to make Black Panther and to make a bunch of other things this guy did. Never showed hurt. But there are some people that really enjoy being sick. They like the attention. They like the motivation. They like to use it as an excuse. Well, you know, it's my sugar acting up again. They just enjoy being sick. They make up diseases, hypochondriacs, creating afflictions, excuses to limit them from getting better. I can't relate to it because I want to get well as quick as possible. Some people like being ill because they can then do whatever they want to do and blame it on how they grew up. That becomes your excuse for your temper tantrums and your rages and your obsessions and your excesses. You always categorize it, I'm drinking because of the way I was raised set of twins was raised by an alcoholic father and one of them grew up and became an alcoholic they said you're acting just like your daddy he said why are you an alcoholic he said because i was raised by an alcoholic the other twin never touched a drink in his life they said why are you not drinking he said because i was raised by an alcoholic think about it one way you measure toughness is just look how much people show hurt. Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, passes away. Four years has colon cancer, no one knows about it. He goes to the doctor, that means that this doesn't mean he's not taking care of his body. He's going to the doctor, but he doesn't advertise his pain. Sometimes it's just good not to advertise your pain. Sometimes it's good to not just tell the whole world what you're going through. I'm not telling you don't talk about it with a group of people. I'm not telling you have some private conversations with certain people. I do believe in the ability to have some kind of a form of a release. But the way people are doing it right now, posting everything on Instagram, all this other stuff, what's the point behind it? You need attention? Is that what you need? Mental toughness people are not looking for attention. Mental toughness people are trying to get results. A big difference. You know, life is going to test you every freaking day. You could have one week, the best week of your life. Next week, something dramatic happens. I don't know why life works this way. It just does. You can have one week, everything goes bad. Next week, everything goes good and great. That's how life is. You're getting tested. So sometimes when you're in it and you're going through challenging times, here's what you think. You think in the moment you are the only person that's going through it. It's a problem, by the way. You're going to be tested in your marriage while you're running a career. You're going to be tested with your family, with somebody passing away while you're chasing your dreams. Arnold was going to win Mr. Universe. The day before, a few days before his father dies, he tells his mom, I can't make it to the funeral because my dad, if he's watching over me, he wants me to pursue my dreams. I'm going to win Mr. Universe. He goes with Mr. Universe and the rest is history. This doesn't mean he doesn't love his dad. This means he's got a spiritual relationship with his dad. Just, I don't know what I do in this moment here. He goes, he wins, Weeder figures him out, becomes Mr. Olympia, you know, governor, all these other things that he does. In those moments, 
of the decisions we make when we're getting tested and you feel like you're by yourself, those are moments where you're measuring your toughness. Those are moments where you're being tested constantly. Again, there's not a method to say you're 93% tough, you're 71.